it's never too early for Alan. That was the message from Norwich's Cinema City today as it held its first screening of Alan Partridge Alpha Papa at 7am. And even though it meant a very early alarm call, a bit of Partridge before work proved popular. We opened the doors at half six this morning. We had 132 people attend our 7am screening of Alpha Papa. We've only ever done one more one breakfast screening before, and that was uh, the last of the Batman trilogy, Dark Knight Rises. I think we had 60 people in for that, which we were quite impressed with. Uh, so in comparison, it's done rather well, yeah. 132 people is in a very impressive start of uh, the run of uh, screenings for Alpha Papa at Cinema City. The early morning screening comes a fortnight after Alan came home for the film's world premiere at Hollywood Cinema in Anglia Square. But many had to wait until today's official release to see Partridge's film debut, and it didn't disappoint. It was so much fun. I've laughed all the way through. I should be singing Sparks all day long. And just the whole atmosphere and people enjoying it. Very silly, great fun, thoroughly enjoyed. Yes, it was really an event, and it was a fabulous film. I'm not actually mad about him. You may want that, you may not, but I thought it was a, a very, very good film. Beautifully filmed in Norfolk, but very, very funny. Well, I was a fan of uh, the character anyway, and the film was like the icing on the cake, I think. It was brilliant. I thought it was, I thought it was really good. And also, with, with most films, all the, you always get the best bits in the trailers, but, um, you know, all the best bits are actually in the film, which you didn't see on the trailers, and I thought it was wonderful all the way through. He's, he's, he's a brilliant guy, I think. I think he's... he's He's the most talented solo performer, that, uh, and we've seen him do solo at, at the theatre here, um, a one-man show, and he's just incredible. People across Norfolk will flock to see their favourite radio DJ on the big screen over the next few weeks, and Cinema City will continue its ruddy, brilliant celebrations tonight with an Alan and Lynn party. What has happened to your hair? I'll take no pleasure in saying this, but a lot of people think it looks like a photograph of an explosion.